what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel as you're probably aware we're going drifting it's been a long time coming we haven't been drifting since march but we are all loaded up and we're just about to hit the road off to winton so yeah i think nine of us from geelong have booked out the skid pad up there for two days so we're gonna be setting up cones and doing different layouts and stuff and mucking around it should be a good time everything is loaded up it's going to be our first time drifting on the new hyper gear turbo the new power setup as well as a whole lot of other things that have changed got a bucket load of tires and wheels jerry's front bars up there ute's pretty loaded up Got some spare parts, spare diff and axles back there. More Jerry's. Got a Benjamin. Oh. Just about ready to go. Alrighty, we just got to the track. We're on. We're at the back of the track at the uh, campgrounds. Um, staying in these pretty cool decked out shipping containers. Pretty mad. Thirty bucks a night. Full drifters special. Budget boys. Got your own little room. Aircon TV. <laughs> Pretty mad. Alrighty, we're at the track. You got the cars just unloaded, warming up. Show the people getting unloaded. Here we are at the skid pad. She's big, definitely going to be plenty of room to cook some tyres, definitely going to be grabbing some third I reckon, depending on uh, what layouts and stuff we do, but there she is, going to get a heap of cones and water barriers, set up some layouts and whatnot. get the front bar on the car now, yeah, S14 gang. warming the car up go give her a little bit of a test looks like they're putting some barriers out we got like a little bit of an s bend sort of just set up just to get started it ain't much but i just want to go test the car out so i'm gonna warm her up and go out for a little test So it turns out there's two different length axles in the passenger and driver's side and I'll put the short one in where a long one's supposed to go. Turns out both my spares are short ones which is great so I've just put the really shagged one back in and hope she holds on. But 
Yeah, this one's pretty minced. Pretty minced. Oh well, cross our fingers that shag run holds on. I'm just gonna have to not be too aggressive with the clutch kicks and keep the wheels spinning and stuff. So, here's what it is. Hopefully we still get plenty of driving in. Today's footage is the day after the footage you were just watching. I forgot to have my uh, external microphone on, so probably a bit of wind noise, but yeah, didn't have any luck yesterday. Um, that first axle we broke when I was driving off track, it must have got jammed. Must have got jammed in the uh, arms and stuff when I was driving off track, and it ripped on the knuckle, ended up cracking the knuckle and bending the pickup for the toe arm on the subframe a tiny bit. So it's a little bit skew if in there at the moment. Realized that after we drove a three and a half hour round trip to get another axle, and yeah, realized the uh, knuckle was completely cracked. So that ruled us out for the weekend, unfortunately. Didn't really get too much driving on the new setup, but I got a taste for it. It was a big tease. The car feels insane. So we got a little bit of work to do. See if I can show you the cracked knuckle. Don't think I can get the camera in there to show you. And you can see the uh, that that pig up there has moved a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately that's us for the weekend. I might get a little bit of drifting of these guys going, a little bit of footage of these guys going at it. They've just done a different layout now, and it's uh, similar to Mayhan sort of, where you do like a big flick sweeper ran into a little S. So it looks really cool. Would have been really cool to drift, but it is what it is. We got another event booked in. We're gonna be coming back to Winton and doing the main track, the actual track here. So that would be pretty sick. I'll have the car all good to go for that.
to make our trek back to Geelong. That's a wrap on the weekend. Um, yeah, no driving for me, really. Two minutes. Got some cool passenger rides with uh, Matt and Ben over there getting some doors, so that was pretty fresh. Hope you guys liked the footage. Hopefully it wasn't too shaky in the uh, stock seats in the S14. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, stay tuned for when I actually get to drive this car with the new setup. Until then, 